Hey guys, how's it going? So this afternoon, Aaron and I are gonna be tackling kind of a small project. Oh, I see him back there. I say it's a small project because you're gonna be doing the bulk of the work. I'm kind of excited though. I think it will, it'll make the tree look a lot better. It will. We've got a birch tree that's hanging really, really low. Um, I'll show it to you here in a second. It's near our patio area right here um, and it's just shrouding the view like you can't really see half of the patio area and then our gutters need to be cleaned out really really bad so while Aaron has the ladders out trimming up this tree he's gonna clean the ladders I'm gonna get up on the balcony and blow all of the leaves and junk that have it, like accumulated up there down so we're gonna end up having a huge mess down below here but it's gonna feel good to get those maintenance things done so like you can see just from this angle right here like you really can't see out anymore into Versailles and really just want to get like this trimmed up a little bit, get the canopy brought up a little bit. Let me show you from this side. Look at that. Oh, so pretty. Anyway, like Aaron, hello, where are you? Hello. <laughs> yeah, so you can't see Aaron there. I just want to, before we start doing fall stuff, um, I really want everything to be balanced out here because I kind of want to like do it up for fall on either side but that means I kind of need to like shape this up and we need to get the tree off of the roof as well because you can see like it's touching the roof over there, especially right up here. And I can actually hear it like hitting the side. Look what Russell did to me. Hitting the side of the house in a windstorm. So anyway, I think we need to go get tools first. Have you brought anything out yet? No, we need to grab it all. Okay, so while we're out here working on this, inside we're getting our hot water heater replaced today which is one of those things that's like the worst to spend money on stuff like that. It didn't go out, but it started to leak and we didn't know it. And then all of a sudden on our ceiling in our kitchen, there was a huge water bubble, like a big bulge because the hot water heater is upstairs. And so it had been slowly leaking. And anyway, so we had to get a new hot water heater and we have to get the ceiling in our kitchen uh, repaired. Ugh. So I think we need, are you bringing all the saws? No, I just, I'm more of a fan of the curved, so I think this is the one. Okay, you better put it in its little scabbard. Those things are sharp. Whose printers are you gonna use down there? Laura, and, oh, this one's, this one's free. Yep. Anybody can use that. We'll bring them both. Gotta have some loppers. Yeah. You got a lot Oh, perfect. We don't have to get that high, I don't think. That'll be perfect. No, in fact, you know, from that video where we unbox all the ladders, uh -huh. this has been the most useful. Um, That's it's just not a... the biggest. It's just like light, and I don't even know what the name of it is. Is it a six foot? I think it was on the back, no? It's the GLX 5B. Yep. But anyway, that's the most useful. There you go. You don't think we'll need any pull pruner or anything like that? I think it's all I pretty don't low. Think so, because we're not going to be trimming up that high. We're just kind of taking maybe like, I think about 10 feet would be the highest that we'll go. Okay. Which, between standing on this and using the loppers, sure. Easy. And you're okay getting up on that roof? Yeah. Okay. Oh, look. We left a diaper out. <laughs> Classy. Hashtag real life. <laughs> all right, so where do you want to start? I think we should take off some of the lower stuff first and then just kind of see what that looks like and then try to get some of this dead stuff out of there. Okay. Oh, is there a lot of dead? Oh, oh there is. Yeah, there's a little bit. I don't know if you guys can see like that, the dead branches hanging in there. And that's the thing, like this is not the time of year to be doing any major pruning on your trees, but it's a great time of year when they still have leaves to cut out any dead because you can easily tell what's dead and what's not. And then just take off a few branches here or there if they outgrow their area or if they're posing a problem or that sort of thing. So we're not making any big cuts either. I think maybe the biggest branch, Aaron, do you think? I think this one needs to it's go. It's maybe like this, this, this big. Thing. Yeah. Yeah, we might have one or two branches this big and then the rest are really little. I could get used to this kind of project. <laughs> well, just stay pregnant all the time and you can have other people do the work. <laughs> Not a good idea. <laughs> all right, check this out. He looks so professional. Look like a pro. Do like you, what just... do you have that attached to your pants or your belt? My belt. Huh. Yeah. And then when I'm up there, I can just probably rip my shirt putting this back in. Yeah. <laughs> Probably should like tuck my shirt in, but you don't want to see that. Bet right here. Yeah. Look good. Looks great. Oh, that looks good. Branch number one. Well, yeah. that was easy. That looks so much better. 
Here, I can drag it through this way. Okay. Can grab it? Maybe. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that. <gasps> oh, the tree can breathe, or I can breathe. One of the two. Oh, it looks so much better. It does. So now we just need to like shear this stuff up a bit. Yeah. You got that branch? Yeah. Here, let me just put this back in the holster. Nice. <laughs> Uh oh, so already you can see the house a lot better. I can't believe that's just two branches right there. That's one. You know, what? at this point, I think I'm just going to set the camera up and we're going to do a bunch of finish work with all the little dead branches and then all this little stuff that's kind of hanging here. Um, and then we'll kind of take a look when we're all done. Do you need theme music right now? <laughs> okay, so here's our conundrum at the moment. There's another birch tree planted right here that's just cruising straight up into the canopy of this other one. Most of the branches, like right down here, there's some living ones. Right here, they're all dead. And then it forks weird, there's no leader up in there. And then there's just two kind of scrawny branches up there. I uh, vote for taking it out. You've wanted to take that out since we since, moved in. Yeah, it's, it's junk. It shouldn't be there and it, it's not thriving. The only reason why I have wanted to keep it in is that it actually mirrors the other side a little bit. Even though the birch trees over here are not near as mature as these are, there's still a grouping of three and then a single right next to it. See, right here. Maybe. <laughs> right there. The grouping of three and then there's a single right next to it. And so I think that was what the thought process was, which maybe in the end, I don't know. I don't know, Aaron. I don't know if I can commit to that. You know what I could put right there is a Japanese maple. There you go. Mm -hmm. Okay, but here, hold on, hold on. <laughs> you can take this one out if you manage getting all the roots out so I can plant something else right there. You wanna commit to that? No deal. Okay, then no tree coming out. I'll take it out. <laughs> You'll take the roots out? Yeah. I have to have it big enough to where I can dig another hole. Yeah, we'll make it happen better do it fast before I change my mind. Can you watch? Uh... Nope, I am not assisting you in this okay. endeavor. <laughs> it's kind of hard by yourself though. It's a little bit too heavy for me by myself. I'm gonna break the saw, because it's the weight's on the saw. Why can't you just rotate the tree to where you can unpinch it? <laughs> <laughs> Should have thought about that before you started cutting the tree down. All right, well quit, quit filming then. No not. I am going to record this whole thing. Okay, when it comes to breaking boxwoods, I'll come help. That's so much better, don't you think? Well, look at you can see through it. Admit it that you like it. No. Your initial reaction is that you like it. You don't you don't know me. I do. No. I think I think it's fine. I think I need to plant a Japanese maple though right here. I don't think you need to I think the view is nice. Well the view is nice, but I also like the view of a Japanese maple. Well, yeah. We think we're done with the lower level here. It does look so much better to be able to see this whole area. The branches aren't shrouding anything anymore, which honestly opens up this whole flower bed for different kinds of plants because we have left it just so shrouded by those branches for so long that we just left it and we did trample it a fair amount today. So it's not looking awesome, but all of these are a buttery yellow columbine that I really, really like, but they only look good for a certain part of the year. So I think I have an opportunity to plant some other things in here now. Aaron already has headed upstairs. That's what we're gonna do next. He is gonna cut a few branches away from the roof and the balcony, and I'm gonna work on cleaning just the leaves off the balcony at least. Did you make it? Oh, I see you. Are you sitting down up there? No. <laughs> here I come. I'm a little bit embarrassed to show you guys what it looks like up here. One windstorm, 
and a bunch of stuff just accumulates on this patio. We should have got out here before, like a while ago. Yeah, look at this branch. That's what we keep hearing at night yeah. <laughs> in the wind. So, you should you should demonstrate, Erin. Pull it back and let it, yeah, it just knocks all night long. <laughs> Can you take that one back further? Yeah, I will. I just oh, okay. Get... Would you like me to cr criticize all your cuts? You can hand them to me. I'll flop them over the edge. What about branches like this? Um. I feel like it wouldn't hurt. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I never dropped the camera, Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if there's anything heading toward the house, certainly. Oh, there was some dead on that one. Here, hand it to me, Aaron. We don't have them all gobbed up. So you can see right here, there are still a couple of branches hung up. Those are actually cut off. But look at our gutters. Oh, shame. I'm kind of excited to blow them out though. Did you bring up the blower? Um, I have my little one. You wanna try it? Yeah, I doubt it'll have enough power, but we can give it a shot. Okay. <laughs> it's so tiny. <laughs> here you go. <laughs> Aaron bought me this little blower just for this patio because it's all the way up the stairs. Is this on right? <laughs> it looks all cockeyed. No, I think it is supposed to, well, yeah so that I didn't have to haul our big blowers up here, so I'd have one just for the patio. We'll see if it's powerful enough to get the gutters. Oh, <laughs> is it out of battery? It's dead. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll go get the big one. Okay. <laughs> Dang it. Got the big gun? I got, got the real blower. Nice. So all the leaves are gone, but now I need to come through and give this floor a really good scrubbing. And really, honestly, everything. It just gets so coated up here with dirt and dust. It doesn't help that our whole field out there that we've recently tilled and we've been working is just a big dust bowl right now. It just swirls all around the air whenever we have wind, which is about once a week. But I think we've got quite a mess down here now. All over the sidewalks, there was so much junk in the gutters so much so basically all we have left is a big cleanup job downstairs oh hey there's my mom <laughs> rode your bike up here What's that? you rode your bike up here yes and how hot is it 92 it's pretty hot yeah it was i think about an 11 mile ride oh nice so look at our birch tree what do you think that's amazing we just limbed it up a bit yeah. It needed it tremendously bad. And then there's a huge mess. Look at this from our gutters. Oh, that's all from your gutters. Yeah. Just from the little balcony? Yeah. Uh-huh. And around the corners. Wow. Yeah, pretty bad. So here's a closer look at the mess. All over the sidewalks. Here's some of the tree debris as well as over there. Oh, my word. Those gutters probably needed to be cleaned since last year, Aaron. Yeah, at least a year. And then coming over onto this side, all of the junk, mostly in the grass, which is awesome. That'll get picked up in the mower. So we're gonna real quick work on cleaning up this mess while my mom recuperates from her bike ride. Enjoy. I always think it would be nice to sit and watch people work. And drink iced tea. And drink iced tea, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't help yourself, you had to get into it. <laughs> I can't just sit and watch. I got those at Lowe's. Yeah, these chairs. Lowe's. They look comfy. Yeah, they are pretty nice. Yeah. All cleaned up, all done. Oh, it feels so good to have that done. 
And look at that, the load has been lightened. It's amazing, I love the look of the trunk, I love being able to see more of it. I love that I can actually plant some stuff in here, like some interesting things, instead of just kind of letting this be a little bit scrubby and overgrown. Oh, there's another branch I need to grab. I mean, these, I have some little lime hydrangeas in here that were just being smothered by branches. One of them didn't even make it. There was one here, so there's one, two, three. That one's got a few more blooms on it. Um, so these will probably pick up and start doing a heck of a lot better. So what I think I'll do at this point is just run a rake lightly through this bed and then just start thinking about what I want to put in here. I mean, I think it would even look amazing to put a Japanese maple right in here instead of right here like keep that view open and have a little bit of red interest right in here that'd be really beautiful and those chairs are kind of awkwardly placed this is not where they normally go i just had moved them over there to get them out of the way so i'm going to move those back here pretty quick too <laughs> kind of odd to see chairs facing the house like right at the corner hey bud hey russell i see cheddar too all right what are you two gonna do You gonna be nice i also got a couple of beautiful birch branches out of the whole deal and these i'm going to cut up and use as chicken perches because they're the perfect size they're nice and smooth there isn't any like sharp things on them at all and they're just perfect 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 i love it Ooh, the sun's at an awkward position but here is a front view and you can see from this angle right here in particular that everything has been cut away from the house and the balcony if we take a look up underneath here nothing is touching the house anymore that branch is several feet away from the roof i know it's kind of deceiving the way it looks right here oh i've got cobwebs though don't look at the cobwebs everybody so that turned into a tad more of a prune job than i anticipated i mean i didn't anticipate taking out that little birch tree right next to it but honestly like aaron has hated it since we moved in here and i've just been so reluctant oftentimes when we finally do end up removing it i kind of like admit kind of liking it um, and that's the whole thing and I've said it from the very beginning if you have stuff in your garden that just doesn't it's not jiving with your design or you just don't like to look at it just get rid of it it is a plant you can put something else in there like it's a renewable resource you can put something back in there that you love and that's what we should be doing with our gardens we should be doing things and planting things that we love and not just trying to limp things by that are just kind of okay so anyway thank you guys so much for watching this video I hope it was helpful just to see See that go on i know it's kind of an awkward time of year um, to be taking after a project like that but we'll just take care of stuff as we see um, things that need it out in the garden i've got some containers here that i'm excited to plant up for fall in fact i picked up a bunch more pansies today i've got a greenhouse full of fall stuff but we have two more days that are supposed to be 100 degrees at the end of this week and then it's supposed to do a big cool down next week so hopefully this is the last of the heat i'm going to uh, hang on and hold off for of any fall planting until those hot days are past so anyway thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you in the next video bye